One of the more creative transform options we have available is the ability to skew an object to match the perspective of another or just to create an interesting effect. This works both with vector and raster layers, just as all the other transforms that we'll cover in this tutorial do. So we can see we have our shape layer selected. We'll go to the edit menu and choose transform skew. Now this is a little bit tricky, but the rule of thumb is the top and bottom handles, as well as the left and right handles, will sway the image from left to right and top to bottom respectively. And whichever handle you're clicking on, the opposite handle serves as an anchor point for the movement. So I'll give you an example. If I click and drag the bottom handle, you can see we get a pendulum effect where the top portion of the image is more or less stationary. The same thing happens when we click and drag the left or right option. This moves the image from top to bottom and the opposite handle serves as the anchor. But the real perspective tricks come into play with the corner handles. And the main thing to keep in mind is you can either move these on one axis or the other. You can sway a corner handle from left to right or from top to bottom, but you can't do both at the same time. So for example, you can't drag diagonally. So I'll go ahead and click and drag on the bottom right handle. And you can see that basically it gives the appearance that one part of the object is now further away than the other and vice versa. So this works with all the different corner handles and you just need to experiment to get the look you want. But let's go ahead and try this on an image example. I'll press escape to undo our changes. I'll turn on the image background. And now what I'll do is try to match up the graphic with the perspective of the wall. So we'll go to edit. I'll choose transform skew. And from this point, I'm going to crunch down the right side of this so that it appears to be further away than the left side. I'll go ahead and drag this over to the edge of the wall here. And I'll just tweak this a little bit. Obviously it won't be perfect, uh, but in the interest of time, hopefully this will uh, provide a good example. Maybe something about like that. So then you can press enter to accept the changes. And now that you have your perspective, you can use other tricks like blend mode or opacity, just like we learned about with the painting tools to make things blend together. So I'll try the overlay mode. And right away, it looks more like it's part of the building than it did just a second ago. From there, you can play with opacity and other settings to get the desired effect.